Hey guys, it's Panda. And I'm just sitting here uh, watching some uh, secular talk while I'm testing out these cannabis products. I promised I would test out on video a while ago. Actually, I've already tested them, but tested my vape pen anyway. And this is just water because I got the CBD water a couple months ago. Um, didn't really notice if it was effective in any way. Um, didn't really taste very good. Didn't taste... I, I pref I am very picky when it comes to my water because I have a really sensitive um, taste, sense of taste, and I drink only spring water, like real spring water, not filtered water, not purified water, not Culligan water. <laughs> like, I can tell the difference, and it really, I really don't like all those different kinds, but... Um, I did pick up this organic hemp drink. It's an energy drink, apparently. Uh, Kona Gold. And I picked this up at a Mega Bev store that we have here. Um, I don't think it has any THC or CBD in it. I think it's just a hemp based energy drink and I don't really usually drink energy drinks um, if anything I'll have like a cocktail an alcoholic cocktail every so often but um, I'm gonna try this out because of course you know I'm curious when it comes to cannabis products and so let me see if I can get the light source a little better here um, so here's the Here's the uh, here's the stuff on the back if you guys are interested. I don't know if you can read it, but it's got filtered water, citric acid, sodium citrate, natural flavor, glue, I don't even know what that says, taurine, caffeine, potassium sorbate, sodium benzoate, sucralose, niacinamide, Organic hemp seed powder, calcium pantothenate, vitamin B6, and vitamin B12. So, yeah, oh, 115. It's it's canned in the U.S. What does that even mean? Canned in the U.S. So it's clearly not made in the U.S. Does that just mean the can is made in the U.S.? That's just kind of dumb. Anyway, 115 milligrams of caffeine and 15 milligrams of hemp. I don't know for sure what... I mean, I know some people use hemp as like a uh, nutritional supplement, but I'm not sure what benefit it would have in something like this. It's probably just more like a novelty. So let's see what this tastes like. It's supposed to be candy apple flavor. They only had like two or three flavors and the other ones were, I think one of them was mango. i um, not sure what the other one was, if there was another one, but... Okay. It's not atrocious. Um, it tastes like carbonated... Um, flavored water, but with like a little bit of sweetening to it. So, I don't know. It doesn't really taste any different than any other energy drink I've had. Except that I don't like, except for Red Bull. I think I have had Red Bull once or twice. I didn't care for that at all. But anyway. Oh, by the way, when I when I was in my first apartment, when I lost a bunch of weight, I was kind of hooked on the um, the tab energy drinks they had for like a short time. They were like tall, skinny, pink um, energy drinks for for from tab, and I actually ended up getting like I don't know twenty four of them or something before they quit selling them. And those were really, really good, and they actually gave me energy and didn't, like, have any negative effects that I could tell, because most of the time my blood sugar gets messed up if I drink any energy drinks, but I really liked those. I wish they would have kept them. <laughs> they always get rid of the things that I like the most, like, different flavors of things that I like. So anyway, I got this cartridge. This is the last cartridge I got, which was a couple weeks ago. And 
I use THC cartridges when I can't smoke if I if my bowls are all used and I don't have time to scrape one or if I'm out and don't and I don't usually smoke when I'm out I'll just use a vape pen or at night if I'm having a seizure or have really bad nausea I'll use the vape pen so it's pretty useful I have a CBD pen too up there that I use for seizures also um, this is from LA Exotics, Los Angeles Exotics. This lighting is horrible. I thought having a bright light would help, but anyway. Um, it's called, um, I was thought it was Blueberry Skittles, but it just says Skittles on it. Starts with a Z for some reason. Um, it doesn't really have any contact information for them. It's a it's a one gram cartridge, eighty five percent THC, um, hundred percent terpenes, leak proof ceramic hardware, solvent and pesticide free, cold filtered premium concentrate, and it comes in this fancy little screw top thing. It's the first time I've had one of these. And it, when I first got it, it came, it was like vacuum sealed because when I pulled it out, it was like pulling out a cork. And it has a nice heavy rubber stopper on it on the bottom. And so let's give this a try real quick because I gotta hit the shower before I have company over. So it's got a nice little white ceramic top. Um, the problem with the leak proof claim is that it doesn't leak out of the top, but as with several other cartridges I've gotten in the past, it does leak on the bottom. Uh, I keep it vertical at all times, and when I put it in my purse, it's vertical. But I've had a few times where I take off the, the cartridge. Let's see if there's any in it right now. Yep. Yep. There's a bunch in there I'm going to have to wipe out. So if you can see, there is quite a bit of oil in the in the pen there. It's not focusing, of course. Hold on. So I think Donald Trump was the winner last night because they did everything they could to take down the one person who could definitely defeat Trump. So, and there you go. You can see there's a bunch of oil in the top there. That's the fourth time I've had this happen, I think, um, where it leaks into the top of the pen. Um, I had another vape pen that was similar to this one, but it was purple. And when I went to pull the, uh, the rubber stopper off of here, there's a rubber stopper that goes on the top to keep the top from leaking. And when I went to, hang on, I'm going to grab an alcohol wipe so I can get that cleaned out. When I went to pull off the rubber stopper, the one time I was going to use it, um, it basically pulled the whole top of my vape pen off and separated a bunch of the wires inside of it. So it was broken and I had to throw it away and... Um, the only other vape pen I could find on eBay to replace it was a really cheap, uh, it said variable voltage on it when I ordered it, but it's actually not. It just has a button. It doesn't have a, it doesn't have a dial anywhere on it or anything. So I actually am not too happy with it. Now I'm just stuck with one good vape pen that I have to use and I keep my CBD on the, on the not so good one because it's easier to hit the CBD. D um, pen as much as I need to then to and I want to control the dosage of my THC so I use this cartridge for that so let's try this again here so I, I would not I would recommend um, if you get an expensive cartridge because this was like 80 bucks normally I think I got like ten dollars off but um there's, these are expensive for a one gram cartridge. If you're going to go out and get an expensive cartridge, you'll probably have to get it at a dispensary because that's where you can rely on good good uh, products. I got this one on, I ordered from someone on Twitter that um, helps medical pa patients who can't get to dispensaries like me. So um, 
So let's try this out real quick so I can get to um, get to the shower that I'm late for here. So this is a source bait pen that I've had for a while and I'm going to try and hit this a few times before I get in the shower. if you can see that it doesn't show up as much as the CBD does but actually I'll show you my CBD one real quick this is the pen compared to my source vape this is the CBD pen that I just get, or the CBD cartridge on my new vape pen I just got it just has a button it doesn't have a dial so you turn it on this is actually an old THC cartridge that I refilled with CBD because I wanted to reuse it. I don't like to throw these away. They're super heavy glass and metal cartridges that can, that can be refilled. So I try to use them as much as I can. So this is the CBD one. Oh, hold on. It's got to heat up a sec. Mm -hmm. It's a little better. And then let's try the THC one once or twice more here. I think you can see it with the light. I try to make it as visible as I can. But um, when I do inhale as much as possible when I hit it you can't see anything so I'm not really inhaling that much right now but if you do use a vape pen that you're trying to medicate with you want to hit it like a cigarette like you want to like take a big inhale right after you hit it before you blow it out because some people just if they're vaping e-juice and don't want to they're just showing off you can just you know hit it and then blow it right back out and you'll see the cloud but if you are trying to medicate you want to inhale as much as you can so it actually gets into your system so yeah it tastes like terpene it doesn't have it doesn't have a skittles flavor or anything that's just the name of the strain i believe <coughs> excuse me so anyway as far as the medicine in this cartridge, I would give it like a 9 out of 10. It's good. It's good medicine. It's good um, concentrate, but it's like, I know they're trying to go with a fancier cartridge design, but I just wish they could come up with one that doesn't leak out of the bottom because I've had that problem with a lot of different designs. Sometimes I'll get one that I don't even, before I even open it, when I open it for the first time, it's got the whole butt, uh, rubber plug on the bottom of the cartridge is full of oil and it leaks into the box. I've had that happen a couple times. And I'd end up buying one that when I get home is, is all like soaked into the box and really I end up losing a bunch of, a bunch of uh, the medicine that way. So it's not, not ideal. I wish I could, you know, it's just my luck, I think. I have horrible luck when it comes to that stuff. I give this energy drink, if you're into energy drinks, I don't know how the energy part is going to do yet because I haven't drank very much of it, but it tastes pretty good. It's not like horrible. It's not like it has a really strong like chemical taste to it or anything. So it's, it might be worth getting. I wouldn't pay more than like $2 or something for it. two fifty, dollars maybe. Um, but it might be worth trying if you're into hemp and cannabis. So anyway, I got to get running. I'm kind of late for some stuff. Um, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions about what I got, let me know in the comments. And if you want to DM me on Twitter, I can tell you who I ordered that cartridge from. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.